Hello, YouTube. Thanks for coming by today. I'm Sky Knight. Do you have any servers that you're running right now that you'd rather not have to update manually every couple of days? Let me tell you about unintended upgrades. All right, and here we are at a brand new Ubuntu server installation. There's nothing else on it. There's nothing special that we need other than the package we're going to be installing. Uh, after we install the package, configure it, I will be able to have automatic updates. We don't even have to be at the terminal. Right, let's log in. All right, and the package that we want to install is called Unattended Upgrades sudo apt install unattended upgrades una and a tab found it automatically let's install that it looks like it's actually already installed with ubuntu it's pretty nice uh, let's configure this package uh, it comes with an automatic configuration option so it is a, uh, a debian package reconfigure option reconfigure and then Unattended upgrades. And this will ask you some questions. Uh, do you want to automatically download and install updates? Yes, yes, I do. All right, and this should have added a few things into our uh, apps directory in the etc apt apt.conf.d. We just list these out here. So it should have uh, right there the. 50 unattended upgrades, let's take a look at that file. So it looks like, by default, it does any base Ubuntu packages, as well as any uh, base security packages. Okay, and then there's one line that you might want to comment out depending on your needs. Uh, it's this one right here. Uh, it's just the uh, distro code name dash updates. If we uncomment that, uh, what that's doing is instead of just doing the, uh, in this case, the base Ubuntu, uh, or the base uh, security packages updates. Uh, this will update uh, any package that you have uh, explicitly installed on your system. Let's write and put that out and do another list of the directory. And it should have also done something with the uh, 20 auto upgrades package here. So let's take a look at that one. sudo vim20 auto upgrades okay and that little questionnaire that we did with the uh, Debian package reconfigure uh, it changed both of these values uh, to be one initially they are set to zero so they will not run uh, what that questionnaire did is set them to one so it enabled the actual updates all right and just as simple as that installing one package getting it configured telling it what repositories that you want to actually update from. Uh, that's all you need to do. There's no more need to manually SSH into your servers uh, every few days to uh, manually run the command. Uh, I do believe that you will still have to uh, manually reboot the server uh, every now and then unless you have some sort of a kernel care or something like that uh, because I don't believe this has permissions to actually reboot the server for you. Well, yeah. Uh, thanks for stopping by today. I'm Sky Knight. See you.